How y'all are this morning? Y'all doing pretty good? Hope so. Doing pretty good myself. Can't complain anyway. Nobody want to listen. But look, you can see we got a massive situation on the mill. This is the bottom end of a pine tree. It includes some of the root ball and then it goes into the clean trunk. I was guessing and thinking and hoping and praying that this thing right here probably makes a pretty cool table. Y'all may have seen this log right here on a short I did last week. Got it out the way, I needed to move it, get it cut before it starts to ruin. So what we are going to do with this today is try to work this thing down and make it fit on the mill. Flip it, we'll probably cut some with the chainsaw and flip it, maybe have to cut some with the mill. But the goal is to get this thing to fit inside these, these cut rails and cut this about two and a half inches thick is what I'm shooting for. I believe and hoping where all these, these uh, big roots tie into the bottom of this tree, middle of the tree, the way it's sitting, that it'll have a, a lot of figure and character. It's pine. I've never cut anything like this on a pine tree. I don't know how it's going to react as far as holding up. I, I don't know any of that, but hey, it's an adventure. I like cutting wood for one main reason. When you open that log, the character, the color, and, and see how things work. But I'm thinking this is going to make some really nice tables. Give you all a quick little tour of this log. You can see this right here. That thing right there is probably 18 inches wide across here. Little spot sticks out there. We might do some trimming on that one. It's going to be a lot of you can see where that's clean right here. About four feet of it. From here to here is about four feet. And then all this stuff right here ties in goes back to down here. I'm hoping we're going to get some really nice stuff out of this. This came out of the river, so it is a sinker pine, and I don't know how long it's been sitting in the river. Washed up on the sandbar, and we just got it out of the way. If y'all are subscribed or by chance caught this on the short feed, y'all have seen this log before. This is the one we did a short on last week. We had to get this out of there and get it cut before it started ruining. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And we cut things like this periodically, and we cut a different, uh, uh, many other kinds and species of trees, and and try to keep this stuff interesting. Please like, subscribe, mash that like button.
All right, y'all. We got that log down as far as we could possibly get it. As y'all just seen, the whole cutthroat is full from top to bottom, from side to side. The only reason why I can't get this thing cut, if y'all know, my tractor's down with the, fr the uh, flat tire. I got to get that fixed today. And my neighbor had to come get a skid steer. We can't, uh, he had to go use it on a job. And I'm not gonna manhandle these two and a half inch, 35, two and a half inch thick, 35 inch wide. And I'm gonna guess eight to 10 foot long slabs. I'm not gonna manhandle them and flip them off and break them. I'm not gonna do that. After dropping a few, hurting yourself, I ain't doing that no more. But, Tomorrow, we will get these things unloaded, finish the cut, open this log up, and let y'all see. And come to a conclusion, was it worth all the headache to get this log cut up? With all that being said, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and evening whenever you're watching it. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. I'm going doctor a headache. Y'all come back, you hear?